I don't know how many of you are familiar with Def Noodles, but he's a controversial YouTuber. I don't really know much about him. I'm pretty unfamiliar with it. I know he does a lot of, like, news stuff. I usually see him on Twitter getting dunked on. People really don't like him for a variety of reasons. I only know, like, a few things. Like, he made fun of a guy after he cried on stream about his wife's sexual assault. Like, some tasteless shit that I've heard and seen on Twitter. But overall, I'm pretty unfamiliar with Def Noodles. But today, or yesterday... An event that he was hosting finally happened, which is this, the Super Roast Battles. It's an event he was hyping up for weeks, talking about how it's going to be the next big thing. It's going to be like a really big popular event. It's going to be great. He was even trying to goad some YouTubers into coming on to like settle their beef in a roast battle. So he was like going to charge them 15 bucks in order to come on stage and, and roast each other. None of them showed up. In fact, almost nobody in general showed up. As you can see, it's not exactly like a sold out stadium here. It's about... 10 family and friends and this was a complete fucking disaster like it like on a level i haven't seen before imagine fire festival but if it actually happened and was worse than anyone could have imagined i haven't i didn't watch the whole thing either like i started watching it and i knew that i, I couldn't I, I had to share it with you guys this is unreal we're not watching the whole thing in fact i don't think anyone can without puking but I just want to show you some, some of the highlights here. The first, I think it's 28 minutes. So the first 28 or so minutes of this event is nothing but like rap music. That like, it's 26 minutes, right around 27 minutes. The first 27 minutes, the event doesn't even start. They just like cycle through YouTube playlists of rap or popular music. So they didn't start on time. People just sit here doing fucking nothing for 26 minutes listening to bad music. And then we get into it. And it is immediately awful. <laughs> yeah! Coming out and putting up with that bullshit. <laughs> yeah! So um, it's going to be a really special night today. We have some really amazing comedians. We're going to just roast the shit out of each other for your enjoyment. So, that's not exactly the format. What he did is he assembled a few people who said they've told a joke before in their life. And he had them roast each other. But they didn't... Nobody knew the, each other. Literally nobody. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sorry, the volume's gonna be really low because it's so poorly put together. Sorry, here, I turned it way up. So all they can do is roast each other's appearance because they don't know any... They don't know them. They're random people that he got together and told them to roast each other. So it leads to the most awful uncomfortable moments i've seen on the big st big stage figuratively speaking on stage this was an event he charged money for so like you paid for this keep in mind okay Go hey first. siri give me a coin i don't think that's how it works oh hey siri flip a coin let's hey, go siri, flip a coin tails oh i didn't even ask who's <laughs> Oh, what a silly so, blunder. Who's tails, who's heads? He's just a little I'm nervous. Anymore. You're not tails anymore. What about you, Corey? All right. Ernesto, this is just you, an appetizer. First. This, this is foreplay. Is that two jokes up top? Two jokes up top. All right. Give your best shot. So, to go over the rules, I won't put you through him explaining the rules terribly. His format is whoever goes first tells two jokes, then the person responds with a joke, then the, ne the next person responds with a joke, back and forth. So, it's like one joke each. It's supposed to be like a roast. Keep in mind, these are strangers. These two people have never met until they walked out on this stage together. So they can't actually roast each other. All they can do is insult each other's appearance, and it is painful. It is so hard to listen to. It, obviously no rehearsal or anything. Same with Death Noodles. He's the host, and he has no fucking clue what's going on. Started 27 minutes late, and it is an absolute joy. I just met this motherfucker today, so you guys need to relax already, all right? But I, I just met this motherfucker, but he's the only person I've seen with a cankle on his neck. <laughs> Ooh. Oof. I don't know why you're wearing fucking, uh, I don't know why you're wearing uh, shoes to relax, bro. What are you relaxing from? You haven't moved in days. I know you're not coming at me with that fucking neckline of the shirt looking like you fucking stretched that shit for miles. 
What even is this, bro? Is this like just a oh, You have on a vest in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you. Oh, that's just crossing a line immediately. He just goes up and starts touching him. Oh, like I don't I don't even know where Death Noodles would find someone like this. It's that's so yucky. Like he's not even roasting. Now he's just going up there and like caressing him. Ugh. You have to stop talking about appearance like it's not working out, man. Like, what are you doing? I can see everything going on. All right, never mind. Uh, it's called a cock, buddy. You teed if you didn't have that tummy there. All right. Oh. That would have worked if half of you weren't fat as fuck. Oh. Oh. He ain't got no pussy hold in a long on. time. No, 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 it's no, no, been no. a while for him. He is no, upset. I have expected him to just go out in the crowd and start throwing hands, like just absolutely ripping on the audience, just beating them down. Like he, so he not only got people that don't know each other so can't roast each other. He got like the most aggressive man in LA. This dude is just here to fight. So it couldn't have gone worse. A lot of YouTubers that don't like this guy, Death Noodles, were streaming this just making fun of him and it the streams were so popular it started trending on Twitter. <clears throat> oh, Christ, cringe almost made me puke. And Def Noodles was so proud of that fact that in his recent video today, he called this a massive success and that he was trending on Twitter for hours like it was a positive thing. But the trend was people laughing at him at how bad this event was. So he swore he's going to do more because it was so successful. It, I, I, like I said, this is special. This is very unique. And it's only, like, this is just the beginning. I'm not going to play everyone's set because I really do feel bad for the people that aren't him. Like, they had no idea what they were getting into. This is a terrible format. You can't roast someone you don't know. It's You just can't do it. Unless you just want to call them ugly or point out that their fashion sense is poor, like poor or whatever. Like, that's it. It doesn't go beyond that. So I can't even be mad at them. But Death Noodle set towards the end. I'll let this ride a bit more before we get to Deaf Noodles, like in his uh, his set, but you're not ready for him. We chat one for Corey, two for Ernesto. Give it up for Ernesto. Yeah. I, fucking, I fucking told you, man, you lost him. You didn't even try to redeem yourself. I don't know who chat is, but I'm just here to tell jokes. It looks like chat when does is that Corey. Corey got a W in the chat. It's all right. You're all of a Stop kind. Stop the madness. Lover. No, no, no. Sexual. I think this is important. I don't have any jokes for him. I mean, he is a nice guy. He does have a small bulge. It's okay. Uh, you can get over that. Just be more likable. You know what I mean? <laughs> all of that was inaccurate because I'm not a nice guy and I don't have a small dick because obviously you saw it from, from here, bro. Look at this. My dick's bigger than your ass. I'll tell you that much. Can you turn around and let the people I am not going to give you no what, pussy. Like, what does that mean? What does that mean? I am not giving you no pussy. Turn around and let the people see this. You my dick is my bigger than booty? your ass. Is that what you want? <laughs> Hit on me on stage. I will give it this. Your titties are bigger than my cock. I'll tell you that. Oh, what you really does do that fuck mean? Me. Oh, this is I don't sick. want to. I have to. This is sick. Yeah. I need to. It's not a want. It's a need. Okay. I'm I feel like this is Death Noodle's cousin or something. Like he really ran out of people to pull into this disaster, so he's just like, "Hey, Uncle Ernesto, can you come down? I just need somebody here, please. God, I'll give you, I'll give you money." Because this is just so sad to listen to. I'm not gonna finish round two. I can't finish round two. Like I just feel bad. I don't feel bad for him though, for Death Noodles. So again, they do this for another like thirty some minutes. They have like a couple more people come out, but then they have a one-on-one, -on -one, which is Deaf Noodles versus this lady, and it is so beautiful. But I wanted to at least bring this up before he deletes it. I I'm assuming at some point tomorrow he'll have like a come to Jesus moment where he's like, I need to take this off the internet. And I wanted to make sure that we at least got this little piece of history before that happens. Uh, it is you and me. It's you and me. I'm like the meanest guy on the internet Wait, right now. People roasting? hate me. We're roasting. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Me and Peel just taking over this. Okay, I already fucking... You wearing that dare shirt because you're like, uh, I dare you to run away from me. <laughs> <laughs> So I stopped watching after his joke. That'll be new territory for me soon. Carrot Top called. He wants his look back. 
And that's when I stopped. So now this is all new. Wait, I'm wet. Cat got your tongue? No, you Pussy just... Pussy got your tongue? Nah. You look like you woke up in a what? dumpster. <laughs> like, wow. this is what happens at, like, a middle school lunch table. Like, like this is just <laughs> awful. Ugh. And he's so proud of it, too. Which I think makes it better. If he would just, like, had self-awareness, I don't think it'd be as enjoyable. But the fact that he lives in this delusional fantasy land where people, well, where he believes people love this, I think really adds to the, like, the charm. Ugly. Bitch, well, that was supposed to be a dish! Yeah, I'm waiting for something! If you don't Tony shut Lopez. the fuck! <laughs> Why are you up here? <laughs> I'm looking at your teeth because I just can't. <laughs> It reminds me, you ever see that movie, Ed, with the horse, with the big teeth? I don't have that big a teeth. I mean, you're just like fishing for something now. You look really? like Emo Shaggy. Emo Shaggy. <laughs> that Come on, Death Noodles. You, low key. <laughs> you got this. I, I don't understand how you have holes on your knees, on your pants. Oh. Because you don't go down, right? <laughs> oh, I do. Yeah. Oh my, it's like that episode of Spongebob. Hey, so what's up with salt shakers? <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks. He points out the holes on her jeans. Oh. Someone who's more familiar with Deaf Noodles than me. Is it true that he used to call himself a stand-up comedian? Before this, before this. Cause I saw that in the comments quite a bit. I need to see more of his material. Yeah. I do. Uh, you can go down on bitches. What? Are you, do you not know that? <laughs> Again, death Apparently noodles. Not. Cause uh, he's never heard a girl with a wet pussy. Okay. What is, ha so what is happening? Again. You're like my cousin. If you were a girl. Thank you. I bet you cried when you got those tattoos. I did. Uh, <laughs> I did. Are you from Detroit? Oh my! God. It's like an NPC malfunctioning. No. <laughs> I'm bobbing so bad. And uh, it's like a like a glitch in Fallout New Vegas. Charlie, stop! No, this is important. This was a big event to him, I guess, and nobody else. And I don't give a fuck. And neither do I, bro. Come on, we in it together, doggy. Huh? Hey, you got don't dimples spray. too. That's what's up. Yeah. You want to make out? No. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> uh, that's why I asked. Oh! <laughs> oh! My man! <laughs> My man! Yeah! All right. This turned less from roast into like a desperate attempt for human connection. And G Willikers, I tell you, he's finding it. The chemistry between these two is off the charts. They work so well together, honestly. It was a fucking fever dream, bro. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I only watched a little bit of it like right before stream while I was lifting and I was like, no, I can't watch anymore. I have to save this. I need to experience this with other people. It can't just be me alone watching this fucking thing. He went to comedy school. No, I can, I mean, I can tell for sure. He's a master of his craft. <laughs> so you're a lesbian by choice. Your, <laughs> your beard is graying. I know. I'm old. <laughs> I'm 37. You are 37? <laughs> Damn, you look good for a white person. Can't even hate, though. <laughs> I'm not white. Yeah, you are. Uh, I'm from Brazil. I know, but you white. <laughs> this is like terrorism. This is like this is like, like actual terrorism. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking wild. I don't know, man. I think if Death Noodles wants to amplify this, he should really lean into it. Since he says he's going to do more of it, since he loved it so much. Bring in Amy Schumer... Brendan Schaub, James Corden, like really just double down on being the go-to shop for the worst comedy of all time. Like that could be his new brand. He does it like he has he has a way of like making this salvageable. How did people who paid for this actually stay? Are you kidding me? Is that even a real question? If I paid to be there, I would cherish every 
goddamn moment of this disaster. You don't get to experience things like this. It, like, if you go to any trash dive bar, comedy club, whatever, in America, you won't find something this unrefined. This is just actual, like, it is an actual disaster masterpiece. It's, it, you, you don't have, like, a event this terrible. You can't, you can't have an event this bad. It's once in a lifetime. So, yeah, if I paid for it, I'd stay. The whole time. Yes, you will. Amateur comedy is this bad. No, you're wrong. I went to an amateur improv night one time like five years ago. Yeah, it's cringy, but it's like wholesome cringe. It's like I'm watching the thespian troupe have fun together. It's like I can't be mad at that. Like I'm not laughing, but I at least appreciate them putting themselves out there. This, bro, everyone who's come on stage seems to hate each other. Like actually hate each other. They're not roasting... They're having an aggressive conversation at the lunch table. I really do hope he does more. I, I, I hope he's not clickbaiting. I hope he does more of these. You just met my parents. <laughs> yeah, this place messier than your mom's pussy. <laughs> You'd know you probably ate it. <laughs> yeah, she came, baby. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, uh, his mom's got a drippy cooter. Going, Wee. Cause you're gonna win, regardless. Your eyes are too close together. Damn! Uh, I wish they were even closer so I couldn't see you. <laughs> I like that one. Hmm. <laughs> what, are you, what are you writing, a dissertation? You look like uh, the guy at the party with a backpack, but it's only filled with cocaine. <laughs> hey, Coke's That's good. Cool. Yeah, man, we're in LA, like, you're, you're, you're trying to make me look cooler? But you lace it with fentanyl? Okay. Yeah, I'm out here killing uh, motherfuckers. Uh, that was a good 25 seconds of high-quality material, I'd say, actually. That one... That went pretty well, all things considered. They had, they had a back and forth. There was some giggles from the crowd. So they're starting to turn it around. You know, you can never really count someone out. This is the fourth quarter comeback, I think, for Deaf Noodles. What, are you juggling now? Are you, are you trying to... What is this? This is a circus. What? <laughs> what, just, what just... What are you talking you about? You want to win? It's over. There's no way I can you win. Look, uh, That's the whole thing. <laughs> I'm not supposed to win. You're you, supposed to win. You look like a white trash fly. <laughs> You could have gone anyway with that. <laughs> you went with white trash fly? <laughs> He's not even like making retorts. He's just feeling insecure now. He's like, you win, please stop, I'm dead. Please, God, stop. Now you're just hurting my feelings, stop. you're fired. This is sad, man. But like poetically sad. Fitting, even, I'd, I'd say. I don't know what that juggling comment was, but I appreciate it. Please release us. We're just getting started. We got another, like, good four minutes here, I think. He, another great hustle would have been, like, actually selling tomatoes to the crowd so that way they could really get involved here. He'd make another extra, like, hundred bucks off it. <clears throat> I bet all of the creators that Def Noodle challenged to come out here regret not going. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go out. I'm gonna bring the fucking check. Comic this Wars 9-11! Hold up, hold up, hold Blood, up, hold up. You come in Comic Wars 9-11! Hell yeah. I bought a big ass check. I didn't fill it out. You're supposed to wait a hundred bucks. That's why I can't win. I was I... gonna fucking win money? You're just now telling me this? So, hold up. I wanna go to oh my God. Hey, Miranda, wake up. Hold this out with me. If I'm not winning, why am I holding it? Why are you screaming? Stop screaming. I, I can't I... win. Because you won the... That's do something. two people win? Just you. Just Why you. do I win? I Because you won the roast battle. <laughs> you won! Yeah! You won hey, that was good. Big ass check. Congratulations. The point is I can't fucking win. I can't give myself money. How fucking corny is that? <laughs> if he could, that though, he, he would have. my pussy. All right. Okay. Well, why, why do you keep it, saying folks. that? Why do you keep Hope saying that, Miranda? The comedy, the cringe, all of it. No, it's just you and me. We're closing the show. Oh, well, 
Uh, this was phenomenal, right? Am I right, yeah. you guys? Yeah, yeah you're, right. you're right. You're oh, fucking right. You came over. Yes. 9-11. <laughs> Why? Please just stop yeah, you know, next saying time, that. Please don't but yeah, I needed to show you guys that. How special was that? I think that's extraordinary. You love to see it. He said he was going to make an unforgettable event. And Dirty Barnacles, he did it. I certainly won't forget it. And that was only like a couple of clips. I can only imagine how bad it got in the middle, too. There was still like a full hour that I haven't seen. The lost footage that I don't plan on going back for. But he is a big YouTuber. He's got, what, like 600k subs or something? Where's his channel? Here it is. Here we are at Juggalo. 572k. So, I mean, like, he's a big YouTuber.